and welcome to Sierra Make. Yes, I am back with some new content for you. So today's video is going to be one of two videos for a outfit project. Uh, today we're going to make a top and shorts and then next week we are going to make these shoes. I'm actually upcycling some things that I found at the thrift store during my break. I went shopping at my favorite thrift store, Eco Thrift. Their prices are so low, it's amazing, but <laughs> but anyways, I went there looking for some shoes because I wanted to do a shoe project and I found these lovely blue velvet shoes. I was originally going to do some black leather ones, but these ones look so much cooler and so much more fun to play with. So I grabbed them and as I was going down the aisles, I found a blue velvet top that matched the shoes perfectly. So of course I had to get both of them and turn it into an entire outfit. So for today's video I'm going to be taking the large blue velvet top and turning it into a top and shorts. So let's jump in! Here is a before shot of the items just so you can see what I'm working with here. I think it's like an extra large blue velvet t-shirt and then those little heeled boots. The velvet fabric stretches horizontally pretty far. It's actually really stretchy and then it stretches a little bit vertically but not a whole lot. So when I start cutting this up to make my top and shorts, I'm going to have to pay attention to which way the fabric is stretching. Here's the shirt. So it's just a little too short to turn into a dress. You can see like if I were to try and turn this into a dress, my butt would be showing. I have shorts on, don't worry. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to have to crop it definitely and turn it into a two piece because then I can like extend it. But I kind of think I want to keep the collar because it's kind of cute. And I might cut off the sleeves because you know, that's just a little too floppity. So I think I'm going to do like a kind of a collared crop top and skirt. All right, let's go. So as it turns out, I actually have a crop top that is a little too small for me, but it's basically the design that I want to do on this t-shirt. So I'm going to be using it as a guide for cutting out this shirt. I just lined up the neck and shoulders of both of these tops and I am going to be cutting around the outside leaving about an inch for him seam allowance and the fact that the guide is too small so I'm, that's why I'm giving it so much extra space. And also if you don't have a crop top to act as a guide for your pattern you could also use a tank top and then just crop it off where you want it to at the waist. And now those cuts are done. So here's what it looks like. You can see that the two pieces of fabric on either side are separated. So we're going to have to sew those together. First, we're going to sew the sides together. Then we will sew the bottom of the hem around. And then we will do the armpits. So let's flip this top inside out because we don't want those seams to show. And grab a thread that matches the color of the fabric as close as possible. And let's get to sewing. First, I'm just doing a straight stitch on either side. Remember to stop at the armpits. Don't accidentally close those up. You need your armholes. <laughs> And here is what that stitch looks like. You could also zigzag the edge if you're worried about it fraying, but I didn't bother. And now we're going to hem both those armpits and the bottom of the shirt. Remember to fold the fabric over on itself, hiding the raw edge on the inside. And also I recommend pinning up the armpits at least before you sew down the hem just because it's on a bit of a curve and you want to make sure your fabric is like laying the way that you want it to. One thing that's awesome about stretchy fabric is it's a lot easier to sew or hem curves because you can kind of just stretch the fabric the way you want it to instead of having one part of it be a little bit shorter and having to work around that or cut slits or anything. Anyways, here is our sewn crop top. All I did was basically cut out the design based off of a pre-existing top I had, sewed the sides together, and hemmed both the armpits and the bottom of the top. And we're done! 
Here's what it looks like flipped the right side out. Honestly, it looks super cool. It was super, super easy to do. And let's move on to the shorts. So similar to what I did with the top, I'm going to be using a pre-existing pair of shorts as a pattern for my pair of shorts. Since the design of these is a little bit more complicated, I went ahead and cut out the pattern onto a piece of paper. So I just took the shorts and traced along every single part of the shorts so we've got the front which is one panel we've got the back which is two panels for the left and right cheeks we've got the upper back which also is two panels then we have the crotch to connect both the front and back and finally the waistband which I actually end up modifying later on. Again, this is just traced off of a pre-existing pair of shorts so you can do that as well or if you want, maybe I'll include the pattern that I use in the description, but only if I get a lot of comments asking for this pattern in the description. Otherwise, just trace a pair of shorts that you own. Now I am just going to pin and cut out my pattern, starting with this front bit. You might notice that there's a little bit of a curve at the crotch area, but I'm just going to ignore that. And that's because I want to save myself some time and effort by using the previous shirt's hem as the bottom of my shorts leg. So let's cut this out. All right, paying attention to that pants leg hem and the stretch of the fabric, let's go ahead and quickly cut everything else out. There we go, now we've got the front, the crotch, both sides of the back, and both sides of the upper back, and all of the parts that are going to be around the leg have that bottom of the t-shirt hem on it. I'm going to wait on cutting out the waistband until I try this on, so let's sew it all together. First, I'm going to sew my crotch pieces together, then I will sew both of the upper back pieces together, then sew the lower back pieces together, and then finally sew the upper and lower back pieces together to get the final back panel. If you're wondering why I have two pieces for the crotch when the pattern was just one, it's because it is part of the pants leg and I needed that outer seam to do it. So anyways, that's sewn together. Let's quickly sew the top bit together. Remember, I'm just doing a straight stitch here and now the lower back pieces together. When you're doing this, remember to stop at the crotch area. So you're just going to go up till that little point. Here you can see what I mean. Let me just open this up. See how the back looks a lot like the front did with that little curve at the bottom. And now we're going to sew the upper back to the lower back. Make sure to line up these seams on both pieces so you get a nice clean line like you see here. And now that we have that full back panel, we will just flip that around real fast and attach the back to the front through the crotch area. So attaching the back to the crotch first and then the front of the crotch to the front panel. Make sure that both leg hems on either side line up here here is the first stitch, so remember this is stretchy fabric, so it was a lot easier to sew on a curve. And now we're going to do the front, which we also stretched. And there's the front and back attached to the crotch, super easy, fast. Now it's time to sew both these sides together, so front and the back attaching at the hip. More straight stitching, making sure that the leg hem lines up because that's the part I care about at this point. And then we are done with the base of the shorts. Look at that! So at this point, I tried on these shorts to see if they fit, and they do, but I need to add a three to four inch waistband because I want them to be high-waisted, not low-waisted. To get the length I need for this waistband, I'm going to have to mishmash all of my scraps together, and I also have to make sure that they stretch in the direction that I want them to. I also tried to save myself some effort and sewing again and made that sleeve and bottom seam of the original shirt into the upper waistband. This way that commercial professional looking hem is at the bottom and the top of my shorts. 
One extra step I had to do because of that hem is I opened it up on both sides and I'm sewing it together along that seam and then sewing the hem back down. This way it is open and I can weave a piece of elastic through once it's done. Now I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and I pinned it to the top of the shorts just to see if I had the right length and it was a little too long so I cut that shorter and now I can close the waistband together. Remember to open up that hem and we're gonna leave this one open for the elastic later. And there is our waistband, so let's attach it to the bottom of the shorts, almost done. Before you actually sew the waistband to the shorts though, make sure that that seam along the edge on both sides is the same length because you don't want some crooked shorts. And mine was even, so now we're just going to quickly sew those two pieces together. And also close up all but one section of the waistband. It won't be as nice of a stitch, but as long as it's closed, you're good. Ah, oh, we're almost done. Now we just have to add the elastic into the waistband. So here I have some one inch black elastic. It doesn't have to be black, that's just what I had. And I'm measuring out the length of the waistband. I'm going to make it the same length as the waistband is because I don't want it to be too tight. And I just weave that piece of elastic through the opening that I left in that hem and I'm sewing the two pieces of elastic together. Here you can see the stitch. Then I'll just close up that hole and the shorts are done! Woo! Honestly, following a pre-existing pattern is so much easier than trying to make one yourself. There's our shorts, there's the top. Now, I think it's time that we try it on. Final look. Here's what it looked like from the back and the side and the front. I felt like it made me look really strong, so I kept doing muscle poses. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I am so happy with how this turned out. I mean, the waistband doesn't give me that weird skin bulge. Everything fits me well, and I just feel like I look really cute. Yeah, I put my hair up so that you could see the top better because, you know, the dark hair blends in. But this is so comfortable. First of all, it's soft. Oh my gosh, that velvet is like, is like, oh, uh, super cute too. It's super cute too. I could probably tighten this if I wanted to, but I don't want to because then like when I'm sitting down and stuff, like it, it just like, you know, it doesn't like feel restrict. I totally just grabbed my boobs there. It doesn't feel <laughs> restricting or anything on the stomach. So like, I like it loose like this. Yeah, like maybe I've added just a little bit too much length in the back, but you know, we can grow the booty and then that will be filled out. <laughs> what was I saying? Comfortable, 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 comfortable. This is so comfortable. This is so comfortable. Here's a bit of a closer look at the design of the shorts so you can see the front waistband right there and then on the back i had to add a little bit of a gap there which you can kind of see but honestly it looks fine whatever i don't know i really like this outfit but let me know in the comments down below what you think of it i mean it's a little plain i guess it's velvet so i feel like i didn't have to do a whole lot of embellishments to the design i don't know i think it's cute um, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit the like button if you liked this video. Share this video with your friends who like to thrift flip or upcycle or alter clothing. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon because next week will be the shoes for this outfit. Reminder, I post every Friday at 3. Thank you for watching. <coughs> <coughs> Say... Ignore my pasty white legs. It looks so good. Scratch. Boo boo. Boo boo. Boo boo. Woo. Woo. Do you wink with your left or your right more? Or do you not wink? Can you not wink?